Hey there. I know it's been a while since I've made a YouTube video about cooking, but um, I wanted to take a little break. But now I'm re-energized, feeling really good. Got a bunch of great recipes, not only for the summer, but for the school year coming up. And we're gonna get back to doing this. So thank you for all those that kept watching and thank you for helping me get to a thousand subscribers. I really never thought this would happen, but it did. So for all of you that are subscribers, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you continue to watch. Let's get on to some steak bites. Something really tasty, something really simple. And maybe you're on the carnivore diet, the lion diet, the Atkins diet, the no carb diet, whatever diet it may be, these are gonna taste great. Let's go make some steak bites. The first thing we're gonna need here is some beef. I got this from Costco in about a five pound little container. It was labeled beef for stew. It's just cut up beef already. It's got some good fat on it. So I'm gonna use it. I'm probably gonna use about two pounds of it. You can take a steak from home or a steak from Costco, your grocery store, wherever, cube it up and that's good enough. But for this recipe, about two pounds. The next thing we're gonna need is a cast iron pan. Now, why cast iron? I prefer cast iron simply because the taste that comes off it is great. The more you season these, the better the taste gets over the years. So, a cast iron is the way I choose to make these. Now, if you don't have a cast iron and you've just got a non-stick, go ahead and use that. But I prefer the cast iron because I don't think you can get a better taste from any other pan. So here's two pounds of beef. Some of these are rather big, so we're gonna cut them up. I want everything to be in like one inch, one and a half inch squares. So cooks it faster and it looks like I have more on my plate. So that works for me. So now we get to cut some of these up. So there we go. Makes it look like we have a lot more, doesn't it? But we're not done yet. We gotta season this. And I like to season mine with two simple ingredients, salt and pepper. It just makes everything taste so much better. So let's get a little salt and pepper on this. Now we're just gonna mix it up. At this point, our meat's ready to go. It's nice and seasoned. It's probably been sitting out at room temperature for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, just to take some of the sweat off of it and get it ready for the nice hot grill. It's not gonna take a long time once we put it in that grill because that grill's been heating up for about five minutes. So. Now we're gonna throw it in that cast iron and then we're gonna be ready to enjoy some steak bites. So after about five minutes, as you can see, I've got a great sear on these. And so I turn them over, do the other side, about five more minutes, and we're completely done. We're gonna be snacking on these in no time. And now our favorite part, the taste test. We're just gonna chop one of these bad boys up and see how we did. And there we go. Perfect no carb diet snack. There you go, easy steak bites. If you go ahead and make these yourself, 
leave me a comment down in the comment section so I know what you did either differently or how you enjoyed this recipe. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a like. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and click that too. Either way, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. So good. I'm gonna make some more. I'm gonna make the whole rest of this batch now. Yeah, it's that good. Mm.